Hi everyone, it's Razi Alkane. I'm back with another Toy Hacks video because it seems that's what I'm into these days. So today I'm going to Toy Hacks this little guy, War for Cybertron Kingdom Soundwave. The reason I got this guy is because, as you know, I already collect one version of each character, have a proper chug line. And uh, this one here, I only got because he transforms into a tape deck. Because I have right here Siege Soundwave. And I really like this figure. It's the first Decepticon I got uh, since I started collecting. It was a gift from my oldest for Father's Day, uh, two years ago maybe. And I've been very pleased with that figure. But when the Netflix Soundwave came out, um, I didn't want to buy it because I already have one. And, well, bonus, couldn't find it in stores. Most of the Netflix uh, exclusive during uh, the end of 2020 never made it to any shelf in Canada so it wasn't a hard choice to make not to get it but this one here uh, was extremely convenient because he transformed into a tape deck which I really like and he wasn't too expensive and there was some cool stickers for it and the main thing that got me wanting the stickers was the Buzz decal uh, for the inside of the chest. So without any delay, let's take a look at this guy before I apply some stickers. Ravage, eject, eject. Taking a quick look, a very very small laser beak. Doesn't transform, doesn't, don't matter. I have another one and I think this is a nice little accessory. I wish they would have done something for the other side. I'm guessing Toy Hacks might fix that. Uh, the sheet is foil, so probably gonna have a little harder time. I prefer the vinyl backing, but uh, this is a nice set and this buzzsaw, really cool. I'm so surprised we never got a buzzsaw uh, repaint of Laserbeak and it, with the Spy Patrol pack, they could have used that instead of uh, giving us two bats, uh, wing thing and some other guy. They could have used Busta. That would have made more sense to me. Uh, you have a little set here and the figure itself. Very, very nice. Very, very nice sound wave. You have his uh, communication scrambler or ESP reader or whatever you want to call it. The gun looks pretty good. And the figure itself, you know, some, some paint application where you would expect. Of course, nothing in the back. Waffly hands. Um, and in the chest, kind of plain. But the eyes are pretty good. And I'm really excited to see what Toy Hacks will do with this guy. And just for the car class, a little bit of uh, size comparison. Yeah, I guess it scales okay. But uh, even then, I think Bumblebee should be way smaller. But uh, this is my G1 uh, Walmart reissue uh, Bumblebee. And I'm back from Toy Axing with a picture to compare. You can see right away the big difference with the chest. Now you had two options, a black one or a dark gray one and a blue one. I've applied the blue one because I really like that style and re-added a Decepticon logo. You get extra decal cover here to replace the existing decals. You add some for the knees, a little piece here. Let's remove the picture. See, you have a little decal on both knees, uh, just to add some fluff. It covers molding detail. That's one thing about this set, I think it's a little odd. It Instead of adding decals to soft surfaces like here, what they do is they cover existing molding uh, mold, molding details with stickers but it looks good the gun gets two stripes the communicator gets one nothing for the eyes uh, like I said the knees nothing in the back and what I've done you have the buzz decal which I think looks really good and then in the chest here Maybe if I flip it this way, you have, it's kind of hard to see, but you have 
a design of an energon cube. So those are statistics and schematics on how to create a cube that you have right here. So that's pretty neat. And for the, I was wrong. There was nothing for this piece, nothing to add. So what I did is there was the extra decal for here and I've put it in the back here. And I'm gonna peel it right off. And now to take a look at the alt mode. And in tape deck mode, I don't care about those, uh, the ears, people are complaining about that. I don't care. I think this is a pretty co cool boom box. Uh, if you ignore the back, which is kind of, you know, you have to make it stand somehow. And the paint application translating from the robot mode, there's not much to it and uh, other than the grid that you'd expect. But uh, overall, great figure. Most of the decals translate from robot mode to boombox mode. Uh, more precisely, um, the chess. And of course, if I open that, you'll see Buzz again. What they do add is this. Again, two stickers that cover existing molded details. Which I think it's a little odd. You have uh, the record battery button which is a very reminiscent of an 80s home box. And then you have stereo micro cassette recorder, which kids will have no idea what this was for. But that's pretty much it for the tape deck mode. So let's go to my final thoughts. Overall, I think this is a good set. Like I said, I think it's a little odd that they would cover existing molding details without adding to smooth surfaces, but it's common in most of these sets, but the stickers do enhance properly the figure. The highlights are good. Uh, I would have wished a little something for laser beak or the back of laser beak and maybe something flashier for the eyes. But overall, I'm pleased with this set and at $4 because I got it during their Cyber Monday sale. I can't complain. It's a good set and it really enhanced the boom box. So quite pleased. So well, thanks for listening guys, if you like the video please like, subscribe, hit the bell, also leave a comment, I love reading those, share the video, it does help the channel, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!